I'm going to start talking. I'm, I'm video okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Good morning to the house of Joe. Good morning. Good morning, Pastor Gail. Good morning, Deacon Jones. Mother Gail. Mother Deacon. Good morning. Mother Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, today's testimony is always different like before. First and foremost, I want to just give honor and praise to my mom. Yeah. Today is... The day that she passed away last year, January 19th. Wow. 19. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So mm -mm. today is kind of mm -mm. a heartfelt day for me. Yes. Because I remember this day vaguely. I was in Florida at my spouse's home. Just had gotten off work. And I got a phone call from my niece. And she said, Uncle D, we got a problem. I said, What's the problem? Grandma just got hit by a car. I'm like, what are you talking about? Mm. So grandma just got hit by a car. Grandma got hit by a car. And she didn't know what to do. Mm. Okay, so now I'm panicking because I know how my mom's is. She get out there in her chair and she rolls. Mm. She does what she do. She's a movie. Yeah. She don't care about nothing. Yeah. As long as she get down that street and yeah. do what she got to do, exactly. she come on. So that kind of scared me for her. Mine too. And so now I'm panicking because I didn't know what to do. Okay, so take her to the hospital. Now, I'm calling my boss. I need my mom to head my car. I need to go. I need to get out of here right now. I need to leave Florida and go to Atlanta now. Mm -hmm. I don't want to wait. Arguing with my wife, Latoya, about a vehicle that belonged to me, and she wanted me to take her truck instead of taking my own vehicle to go see my mother, mm -hmm. her mother-in-law. Her truck has no heat. The oil was bad. Wheels was wobbly. No radio. And we arguing about that. Let me take my car. No, you, 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 you no, no, no. You gonna leave me with this? This is your vehicle. You know what? Here, take my car. I'll take your truck. Mm -hmm. Not a problem. Through the grace of God, that truck made it to a land. No heat. No nothing. But I rolled on, and God was with me each step yes. of the way. Didn't matter to me as long as I got to see my mother. Mm -hmm. I got that phone call on the way to Atlanta, two hours into my trip, that she passed away. Mm. They wanted me to pull over. No, I'm not pulling over. I'm coming straight on in. I'm driving. I'm doing 90, 95. I don't care. Police, nothing. But I made it to the house at 2 o'clock that morning at her home. I called. The Atlanta Good Medical Place, they wouldn't allow me to see her, so I had to go by myself the next day to the morgue to view the body. And that was the most hardest thing for me to do as a son of three sons. I'm the youngest, but to see me there, the first one there, her baby boy, to view her body was very difficult for me. But, in all in all, she's in a better place. God has called his angel home. And today is the year that she's been gone. And I just want to let her know that it's okay. Hallelujah. I'm still dealing with it day by day. But it's a struggle. But I know she's in a better place and she's living on with God. Now, I have to read this. I'm going to chapter 1 Corinthians, chapter 13. Amen. Today. Because I was told that I'm a heathen. I don't know the words of the Bible. Stop talking to me in that manner. Because I feel like I'm unstupid. So, here we go. Amen. 1 Corinthians, chapter 13. Verses 1 through 13. And it reads... Though I speak with the tongues of men of angels, yes. they have not clarity. I am, be, I am become a sounding brass of a thinking symbol. Mm -hmm. And I thought, I thought, I'm sorry, and though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries, all the knowledge, and all that I have, that all I have in faith, so that I can remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. Mm -hmm. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, 
And though I give my body to be burned, I am not charity, and profit me nothing. <coughs> charity suffers long, and is kind. Even not, charity vanity is not itself. It is not puffed up. Do not believe in, but do not believe itself unseemly. Seek is not her own. Is not easily provoked, thick in no evil. Rejoice, not in equity, but rejoice in the truth. Beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. Charity never faileth, but with ever there be prophecies, there shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect is come, then that which is part shall be done away. When I was a child, I spoke as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I become a man, I put childish things away. For now we see through a glass, darkly. But then face to face, now I know in part. But then shall I know even as I know him. And now abide of faith, hope, charity, these three, the greatest is charity. Amen. Give grace and honor to God this morning. Yes, yes, yes. Now that says to me that as a child of God, you know what you're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. As a husband, you know what you're supposed to do. Yes. As a wife, you know what you're supposed to do. Giving honor to glory, giving honor to God. You put God first in your life and things will go smoothly from there. Yes. Now moving on myself, my testimony is today, I love God. Amen. He's opened up so many doors to me, I, can't, I don't even know which one to walk through first. Yes. Like I've told you before. I finished with my floors to the kitchen. This man has many jobs for me to do. He's actually taking money off of my rent to help me cope and do what I got to do. Now the other night, I'm going to make this simple and short, mm -hmm. I was taking a co-worker of mine's home. I got pulled over in Beverly. I came to a complete stop. Look, look, no cars. I went straight through. The police officer pulled me over. He said he stopped his brakes because I, I passed him. So the passenger was with me when the officer came to my window and said, excuse me, sir, it looked like he was on your cell phone. The pastor said, no, he was not. His phone was sitting right there in the holster. He had nothing to say. But yet, he gave me a ticket for failing to yield to a police officer. He said, you can either take us to court, or you can just pay the fine because you're not going to win the court because everything is on video. I said, you know what, I'm going to give it to God. I'm not going to pay the ticket because I don't want to go to court. Make no sense. But God is good. Amen. Because it took 15 minutes to come back. I said, he's looking for something trying to find anything on me. Mm -hmm. I have no Carolina plates, not Jersey plates. So he's looking for anything to try to give me something. Mm -hmm. He had nothing to give me, but he gave me that. I gave it to God. Amen. 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 Amen.